Hey guys, Tiffany with another video and as you guys saw in the title, this is going to be all about my current beauty favorites. Now if you guys are not familiar with my channel, I try to come towards the middle of the month to show you guys the things that I'm loving in the moment and then at the end of the month I always make sure to bring you guys my end of month favorites as well. So no more talking, let's just jump right into it because y'all know how I feel about super long videos. Let's get started. So the first thing that I've actually been loving guys is really my hair. <laughs> I am so in love with my hair and it's not just because I braided it myself, I promise. It's just because I kind of forgot what it was like to have braids because I have not worn braids. I know for a fact it's been a year. It might actually be about two years now since the last time I had braids. I would definitely have to go back at pictures and look. But I know for a fact it's been a year or probably a little more than a year that I've worn braids. At one point, you guys know I was wearing them all the time. But I've just, I don't know, like I started feeling like a video vixen wearing the sew-ins and the weaves and things like that. But child, Tiffany had to get her groove back and I put the braids back in and I'm feeling all exotical. <laughs> so I, I mean, definitely the first thing that I've been loving currently in this moment Childies box braids. I'm here for them. So I want to talk about a skincare item that I've been loving. It's not a new skincare item. This item has actually been around for a long time and I know at some point here on my channel I've showed you guys this but this is the Ole Henriksen or Ule Henriksen. I think is how you say it. Y'all always correct me in the comment section so feel free. But this is their Truth Serum. Um, it's collagen boosted with True C Complex. Here is what it looks like. Again, it's not a new product, but what they did with the brand is they kind of repackaged all of their products as well as they did come out with some new stuff. But I really love this. Like lately, and when I say lately, I mean for at least like the past six to seven months, I've been really loving using serums on my skin. I tend to use them after I moisturize. Um, I'll just finish everything off and kind of like seal in the moisture with the serum. So I really love this one. I usually only use this at night just because I'm combination oily and y'all know it is hot as heck here in Georgia. So I don't really need the extra moisture during the day. But at nighttime, I just like to make sure my face is super hydrated and all that good hydration can sink into my skin during the night while I'm sleeping. So again, I love this one. I've been loving serums period but this has also been one of my favorites I feel like it's just kind of like plumping up and really hydrating my skin and keeping it really youthful and you know as you get older that's something that you want so definitely if you guys have been looking for a good serum check this one out and another thing I really like about the old Henriksen brand is they're not expensive compared to a lot of name brand higher end skincare I think the prices are really really decent and you get some really good bang for your buck with their skincare items so I have two eyeshadow palettes that I've been loving if you guys follow me on snapchat um also lately I've been trying to make sure I post face details on my Instagram but I know I've talked about these palettes on my snapchat the first is the new NARS narcissist loaded yeah the loaded eyeshadow palette that's what the packaging looks like it's mirrored and I didn't want to blind you and then this is how these shades look on the inside I've talked about this palette I think I included it in one of my hauled it but how was it videos so you guys know that I love this Granted, I am a neutral girl to my core. I know today I did a little jazz pizzazz on the eyes and gave you guys a pop of color. But y'all know these colors like this is what really speaks to my heart. I love this palette because I feel like I can use it every day. And that's even if I kind of just only take a shimmer shade and just pop that on the lid. If I take one of the transition shades just to kind of warm the crease up. Like I can do so much with this palette. And I know a lot of people are on the fence about this palette because yeah it is a little pricey. But NARS eyeshadows in general are pricey. And I do feel like NARS has some really good eyeshadows. But I think you get the most bang for your buck when you can get their palettes granted nine times out of ten their palettes are going to be limited edition but I feel like you again get some really great shadows compared to individually what you would pay for one eyeshadow you're getting some really great choices within the palette this one did not disappoint for me I love it I've been using it consistently it stays on my vanity and y'all know if it makes it to my vanity 
it's a keeper. The next palette is from NYX. Again, y'all have definitely seen this palette on my Snapchat. <laughs> y'all probably tired of seeing this palette on my Snapchat, but this is the Perfect Filter palette. Um, this one is in Rustic Antique. Again, I love colors like this, so it's probably like no surprise to y'all. But these are some really good eyeshadows. I think this palette was about $16.99 at Ulta. Um, you can use your $3.50 off coupon at Ulta on NYX products because they're not considered a prestige brand. And I know Ulta recently had the buy one, get one 50% off. Sale. I don't know if it's still going on so definitely check into that as well but there are ways that you can save money on NYX products if you pick them up from Ulta I love this palette I've heard some people say that they felt like the perfect filter palettes were chalky this one definitely is not chalky in my opinion granted you do get like a little bit of kickback um, like a little bit of dust from the eyeshadows when you put your brush in it but I know some higher end palettes that do that as well so it's not like a deal breaker for me I feel like these shades are super super pigmented I've used them on my eyes without no base some days and the colors still pop so I'm really happy I picked this up this is another one that I've been keeping on my vanity so that right there speaks for itself so a setting spray that I've been loving oh my gosh I have not talked about this lately on my channel but I know at one point I was raving about this non-stop and trust me the love is still there even though I don't talk about it this is the Milani make it last setting spray It's supposed to prime correct and set your makeup for 16 hours of wear and y'all can obviously tell by the bottle which is down here I love this this is my second bottle normally it takes me a really long time to get through setting sprays because i have a lot <laughs> but i usually take this spray with me when i travel um it's not big it can kind of just fit into my travel makeup bag but y'all this sets your makeup right along with the best of the best sprays like it's awesome i also feel like it kind of just like evens everything out like to me this is a mixture of a setting spray and mac fix plus and i know that's a big deal to say because i swear it's all kind of little magical ingredients inside of the mac fix plus but the mac fix plus for me does not set my makeup so i think that's why i love this one because i feel like it definitely does two things in one it's amazing it's drugstore so obviously affordable if you've been looking for a good setting spray you didn't know where to turn trust me Pick this one up, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. I've got two lip products that I've really been loving and reaching for. You guys know lately, I've been really loving lip gloss, which is crazy for me because I've never been a gloss girl. Give me my matte lipsticks, my matte liquid lipsticks, and let me go on about my business. But for some reason, this spring is when it all started like I've just been Miss Glossy, okay? So I picked this up from the Dollar Tree, no not Dollar Tree, Dollar General. Um, This is the LA Colors High Shine Shea Butter Lip Gloss. This is what the packaging looks like. I think this was like $1.99 inside of Dollar General. They had a lot of shades to choose from. But again, y'all know here on my channel, I've really been loving like pinks and like peachy colors recently. This one is called Sensual. It is the color that I'm wearing on my lips, but I've had this on for a while, so it might not be um, showing as pigmented as it really is, but I'm going to swatch it for you guys. And again, this is a lip gloss. And look how pigmented that is to be a lip gloss and a $1.99 lip gloss at that. Like these definitely do not disappoint. I think I'm going to go back and pick up some of the other shades because they had like a nudie type of color that I thought was really pretty. They have deeper colors as well, but I don't know how I'm going to feel about lip glosses in like the fall and winter. So right now I'm going to stick with the lighter shades, but I love this one. I've been keeping it in my purse. It's been with me in my car. It's just really great pigmentation. It's not that super sticky, like uncomfortable, uh, hurry up and take it off type of gloss. I've really been loving it. And then the lipstick I've been loving is from MAC. This is one of their Lip Tensity lipsticks. I don't know if this line is permanent. Was it something they were just introducing? Like, I don't know, because I really haven't been checking for MAC like that. I'm going to be honest. Like, MAC has just not been on my radar lately. But I really love this lipstick. Um, This is in the shade Toast and Butter. And you guys can tell from the packaging that obviously it's more of like a brownie type of shade. I consider this to be like a brownie nude. I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to see it on my hand. But it's right there. It's like the perfect 
your lips but better type of color um it's not matte it has like some shine to it it has a little bit of gloss to it but then it kind of also dries down to like a semi matte once you've been wearing it for a while i don't know how to explain it it's really weird but the color is gorgeous like i really really love this color um i love how it feels on the lips it's super comfortable and again it's one of those kind of like throw in your purse type of colors that you can pop on and it really goes with almost any eye look so i'm here for it been loving it really quickly i want to show you guys two brushes that i've just been loving these have been in my collection for a while, but for whatever reason, I haven't used them <laughs> in a really long time. Like one of them I never had even really used before. Um, the first one is this Tarte brush. It does not have a name to it. I remember I picked this up in one of their holiday brush releases. Not this past year, but I think it was the year before that. So I don't know what the name of this brush is. I don't know if you can pick it up from their permanent line. I just know that I've been loving it. I love how this buffs foundation into my skin like this will take the heaviest full coverage foundation which for me is the Estee Lauder double wear foundation and buff it into your skin like butter like butter baby like I'm telling you guys I love this brush so much I have to look into if you can pick this up from just their regular line because I don't want to be without this brush <laughs> I love this brush so much it was like in the bottom of the drawer in my bathroom I'm guessing Alani is the one who put it there so that's why I hadn't used it in so long I'm so glad I found it I'm gonna have to keep it out of her reach because this brush is awesome and then the second brush that I've been loving is from it cosmetics I don't really know too much about it cosmetics makeup line but I swear by their brushes here on my channel I love their brushes I picked this one up when I don't know um this is their number 223 highlight and blending brush this is what it looks like but I don't use it for highlighter because I don't really like the dual fiber um brushes like this for my highlighter I have a couple but I don't like how they apply my highlighter but for blush this brush is the bomb.com it just spreads your blush on so evenly gives it such an airbrush look so even if you have like a deeper shade where if you go too heavy-handed you're gonna look like a clown I feel like this brush would probably spread that shade so evenly on your skin because it just does an awesome job at putting on my blush and I've just been loving it. And then the final product that I've been loving recently is a new product. And it's not often that I pick up things and just fall instantly in love. But y'all, this hands down blew me away the first time I applied it. If you guys again follow me on Snapchat, anytime I wear makeup, I've been wearing this y'all been messaging me like tiff what is that highlighter y'all been wearing it's been this this is the maybelline master chrome metallic highlighter in molten gold yeah molten gold you guys i know have heard about it because everybody and their mama been like picking it up and doing demo videos is this the best highlighter out there is this the best highlighter in the world child yes because i love this so much it is the highlighter that i'm wearing today y'all i can't stop wearing it and y'all know i'm a highlight queen i love to glow 24 7 365 it is no secret here on my channel i have not reached for any other highlighter i actually haven't even wanted to pick up another highlighter after this one because it just has my heart i don't know if this is permanent if y'all know let me know down below <laughs> so that i can head out and pick up another one but i really haven't been seeing them i ended up ordering this one online I know my Walmart finally stocked it. I went in one day, I saw they had like three. I went in the next day, they were all gone. So people have been picking this thing up. It's well worth it. It's drugstore, y'all. It's drugstore, so you're not gonna pay a whole lot of money. I think I paid about $8.99 on Ulta.com. It's so worth it, it's so gorgeous. If you wanna look like a bronze golden goddess, this is what you need in your life, yes. 
And that is it for my current beauty favorites. I don't feel like I had too much, but I don't have the timer on my camera, so who knows? I could have been sitting here talking for 20 minutes, even though it felt like five in my book. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Let me know what you think of the products that I showed. If you have any of these, you like it, you dislike it, all that good stuff, you know I want to know down below. As always, thank you guys so much for continuing to rock with me. Thank you for all your comments. Thank you for the love. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for getting the word out there. I appreciate you guys so much, and I say it all the time, and I mean it. Without you guys, my channel would not work so thank you thank you thank you and until next time bye youtube